Hi, and welcome to the embodied breath practice, the third day. And today we're going to explore the water element of breath. And you may ask yourself, a water element? Yes, water element. We are water. We are 75% water. Uh, the thing is, we are contained with uh, the boundary of our skin tissue. But with our skin tissue, we will definitely peel around. Uh, and uh, our body, when is at out of stress, it feels like we are soft. When we are very stressed, we tense up and we feel our body super dense. And actually, it's so tense that sometimes the blood has trouble to go to the um, distal limbs. And there are areas that they feel numb because they are they, or out of sensation because uh, there is so much hardness and no uh, the essence and liquidness of life, which is blood, and is where it carries the oxygen. So uh, connecting with this uh, water element of breath, <clears throat> it brings that sense of on our body of being connected with the whole and being at ease in our skin. So yes, we have two breath, two types of breaths or two types of respiration. So we have a external and internal respiration. The external respiration is the one we have been exploring, uh, which is where our uh, oxygen enters into the nose, down to the throat, to the lungs, they expand, contract, the oxygen comes out and the carbon dioxide releases. This is our external respiration, but the breath, those not stopping the lungs, or the oxygen doesn't just stay in the lungs, goes to the heart, that oxygen, and that oxygen is delivered through the blood system the vascular system all the way throughout our body and that's a very watery uh, system yeah it, it, it moves through our veins and arteries so this is our internal respiration where when the uh, all the oxygen travels through the veins what it happened is that the oxygen starts to inhale that oxygen and exhale the carbon dioxide through uh, the membrane, right? So this, exactly, this uh, breathing of the cell, this is the internal respiration. The every, imagine trillions of cells inhaling and exhaling uh, with you or with uh, our external respiration. So when we're body stand, sometimes the cell membrane also tenses up. So this is the skin. This is our internal skin, external skin, internal skin of the cell. So if the cell uh, or the membrane cell is very, if we are tense, the cell membrane is intense, sometimes the breathing does not happen there either. So to feel the water element, to feel that these uh, aspect of ourselves of watery essence, it can bring, we need to relax, we need to really, really soft our tissues to let the oxygen travel throughout the body, through the, the blood, but also it travels through the fascial system. You know, these uh, sheets surrounding, especially we feel it through the myofascial surrounding muscles. And, uh, those cells of the fascia system as they breathe also. Uh, as this is water, and as all water, when it travels, it travels through waves into our body. So when we are breathing in external respiration, maybe some the, the, the cells in closer to the heart are breathing first, and the last to breathe is into our distals, uh, parts of the body hands and toes and fingers. Um, 
So we're going to try to feel it to the, to today, this external respiration and internal respiration. And for that, we need to be very relaxed. So please lay down. Lay down on your mat. Relax. And this time, if it's possible, please bow your knees and place the feet on the ground. And really, really let yourself go. So... I'm going to come up to guide you. Stay down there for breathing. Lovely. So let's start by grounding into breath. So just feel the weight of the body in contact with the floor. Let yourself rest. Feel gravity. Relax the jaw. Let it drop. Relax the tongue and the face muscles. And gently start to feel your exhale. Very casual observation at first. Feel in your exhales. And in every exhale you feel it just let go. Softening and softening. You can feel your skin softening. Your muscles relaxing. You can feel the weight of your bones in contact with the ground. Let your body drop in each exhale. <sighs> Letting go. Spreading the tissues. Now, we're going to go and explore this external respiration. Feel the air coming in through the nostrils, passing through the back of the throat. Feel the lungs expanding. And pressure it, pushing the rib cage, making that movement of expansion in the ribs and relax into your exhales. Feel the external respiration. Also, you can feel here the movement of the diaphragm. When you inhale, the diaphragm pushes down the watery contents of the belly, bulging the belly in all directions, forward, sideways, and backwards. Feeling that pressure. And here we are already feeling that watery essence of breath, moving our watery contains in our belly. Softening the organs, massaging the organs. Softening the skin surrounding the organs. Right. And now we have more other diaphragm 
a part of our respiratory diaphragm, we have the pelvic diaphragm. The pelvic diaphragm is your um, pelvic floor muscles. The bottom of your pelvis, the bottom of your spine. And as a diaphragm, they move with the breath and they are communicating each other, the respiratory and pelvic diaphragm. When we inhale, the pelvic diaphragm descends, the respiratory diaphragm, sorry, descends, and the pelvic diaphragm bulges out, receiving all these watery contains, widening. The pelvic diaphragm, the pelvic floor muscles, they widen when you inhale, receiving the watery contains and exhale, coming back. They soften in. So they are moving. Inhale, they press the pelvic diaphragm to the respiratory. Exhale, respiratory and pelvic diaphragm move together. Feel that movement. They echo each other. They move together. Now, yesterday we see that wherever we move our attention, in any part of our body we move our attention, the breath can travel because we open a neural pathway of perception and sensation. So once this pathway is open, the breath can travel to there, or the sensations of breath can travel to there. We deal with our nostrils. Right. So as you feel your pelvic floor moving as you breathe, we're very close to our hip joint, you know, where the femur joins, the socket of the pelvis, that very powerful joint. Imagine you have a lung in that joint and inhale and feel that there is a space in the joint, as uh, wide is as you inhale and softenings. But because you have the knees bent, you're going to feel that obviously now your leg is wobbly. You can even, you can feel the rippling of that movement into your gluteus. You can feel the gluteus swells up as you inhale and softens down as you exhale. So as you breathe your hip, if you're, uh, and you need to start to wobble around, just stretch the leg out, let the right leg go out. And feel that the breath can travel throughout the whole length of the breath of the inhale and as you exhale ground that leg let it very heavy softening and just very gentle send the movements of breath to your right leg feel the gentle swell of your right thigh all the way down Maybe wiggle your toes to ignite sensation there. And it's very soft, this movement. It's very subtle. Yet it's happening because the blood is going down there. The, every single cell is uh, inhaling there into your right leg. We, the only thing we have to do is, let it, is observe it. That's why we are in this observance. We are observing how the breath moves into our body through our watery essence of the body. Ground that right leg onto each exhale. And let's try for two more. Feeling the heavy, heavy in the exhale. Inhale, feel the gentle swell, movement, ripples, gushes, 
waving. Lovely. And bring the right leg back in. So you have two legs again with the knees up, feet on the ground. And just see the sensation, how it changes in two legs. You might feel the right leg, the right foot is more established on the floor. Now come back to your pelvic floor, breathe in the pelvic floor again, centering there. And draw your attention to your left hip now. Feel the movements of breath onto your left hip. You can feel sometimes now the left gluteus picking up, swelling in the inhale. The left gluteus and it softens through the exhale. As you breathe the left hip, your legs start to feel wobbly because you're releasing those muscles around the hip. So let now relax the left leg down. And as you stretch it out, inhale throughout the length of the left leg. And ground your leg into your exhale. Let it relax, super soft, very heavy. Breathe in your left leg. Relax it, Joe. Feel in your left leg. You can wiggle your toes to ignite sensation all the way down to the bottom. Try for two more. Nice, and come back. Let's actually now stretch both legs. Center yourself into the pelvic floor again. And now you can re-pull the breath down to both legs. Relaxing the exhale. Couple of more. Great. Now remember yesterday we breathe with the three upper ribs. The first rib is just below the collarbone, then the second and the third. They, this is circumference, they go around from the sternum, the sternum towards the bottom of the armpits, all the way to the back, behind the shoulder blades, to attach to the spine. So we're going to try to connect with that, with that uh, upper ribs breathing to release that muscles around. So see, feel the inhale. Widen the ribs, widen the chest, chest, widen the armpits, and exhale, relax, letting the back totally rest on the floor. Maybe also you can feel the shoulder blades gliding outwards as you inhale, widening, and exhale, softening. You can also come back to your diaphragmatic breathing. You can feel a diaphragm moving in the echo of these upper ribs or just connect with the diaphragm if you feel more comfortable with. 
the movement of our ribs. So let's bring your attention to your right shoulder. Just draw your attention to feel the right shoulder, maybe the right rib too. And it seems like the right shoulder is picking up the movements of breath. The right shoulder, the right shoulder blade, the right rib is picking up the movements of breath. And if you are a chest breather like me, it's more likely that your arms are super tense and tight like my ones. So what I do is I start to again move my fingers of the right hand to ignite sensation and the movement of my arms and fingers is super soft moving my fingers like an octopus-like waveform. Yeah, very nice and soft, just to remind myself that I am not tense all the time, to remind that tissue in my arm that it can be soft, and also to ignite sensation. And as you move, but you send the breath into your right arm, or maybe just relax after the movement, sending the breath, all the way down to the right arm, to the fingers. Gentle movement in the fingers to allow the sensation to travel and the breath to travel all the way down there. Sometimes I feel I hold the lungs or my heart in my hand. And feel your right arm breathing. And inhale. It's a gentle movement, swell, for what you're feeling. Enjoy that. And as you exhale, you can feel the right arm very heavy and relaxed. Enjoy for two more. To come back to your diaphragm, diaphragmatic breathing. Centering ourselves. To draw your attention out to your left shoulder. And as awareness goes down there, your left shoulder starts to pick up the movements of breath. And again, if you need to move gently your arm, a reminder that not all the time our tissue is tightened in a task, softening, like if you're moving in water, super soft, algae movement-ish. And as you softly, very little move, you just breathe into your left arm, inviting the breath to travel to the left arm. Exhaling, softening. Just feel the left arm breathing. Enjoy the sensation. You can feel the blood rushing feels sometimes cool or warm. I feel it cool. One breath more. And come back, center into your diaphragm. And the last, 
is breathing our spine. The spine already is in a waveform, so you really can feel it. From the diaphragm, which is mostly at the center, we inhale upwards and downwards towards the top of the head, down to the tail. Just feel spread this uh, breathing inhale into both directions, upwards and downwards, into two waves. Who made one wave. down to the pelvic floor. And maybe you can feel a third diaphragm, the soft palate and a tone, very relaxed tone. When you inhale, the soft palate swells, the air passes all the way up to the brain, into the membranes of the brain, the meninges, meninges the, that fascia surrounding there the brain and actually it's very easy to feel it there because already we have a pump and a water rushing the cerebrospinal fluid pumps when you inhale feel the liquid of your central nervous system flowing through the brain, all the way down to the spinal cord, down to your tail. And maybe just imagine, feel all these nerves exiting your spine, communicating throughout the whole entire body. And from the spine, every time you inhale, these information, these um, nerves, ripple throughout the whole entire body all these nerves breathing breathing your body uniting the body there is a cohesiveness of breath that it keeps the body together united and in flow you may feel yourself like a sea sponge as you inhale you expand, absorbing all these nutrients, watery essence, oxygen nutrients, every single cell. And that exhale, you rest into that full belly, full tummy, releasing all the toxins. Breathe in the body, breathe in your water body. Maybe two more. Lovely. And maybe you may stay there for a little bit more while. And tomorrow we're going to experiment, well, we're going to express our fire element, the qualities of breath in our system. Please share it in your Instagram posts that this practice is happening. So maybe someone will be benefited. And thank you very much. See you tomorrow.